Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a long awaited review of the Jeffree Star Alien palette. Why do I feel so good? Because I'm almost done with this. I'm almost done reviewing this palette. <laughs> Today, well, actually for the past, I think, is it three weeks? Oh, no, okay, so I ordered it as it dropped. Today, I'm going to do for you the Jeffree Star Alien Palette from his Holiday 2018 collection featuring 18 shades, which I have dug into pretty thoroughly. You can see I've done some work in this palette, y'all. That flying saucer shade is... is Beat Moon Rock Space Cowboy look. It's like got an indent in it. I have had some total, utter, complete failures while doing it, but I think I've come up with a few that sort of work. I will tell you, it has been a bumpy road for me in my journey with this palette. I'll say it a few times throughout. We have a love-hate relationship. I have done a lot of work on this particular review. Just wanted y'all to know that I've actually truly been working on this review for quite some time. I've done probably 20, upwards of 20 looks with it. I've tested every shade. I will swatch for you every shade. This is a comprehensive, honest review of this palette. You're gonna get all the tea and that's just the way it is. So, if you want to know more about the palette and hear my full review, keep on watching if you want to see more. Hi, how are ya? <clears throat> this is the hardest palette I've probably ever worked with. I, I just, I'm always at a loss. There's these sections, right? So that's like one quadrant. If there were four of them, there's only three. Um, so it's one section of six shadows that kind of go together, right? And then this section right here, these all sort of go together. And then the six at the bottom all kind of work together. So the easiest route for me to go um, even though it's outside, I'm going to use some colors outside of this bottom section. I
show that this is a very versatile palette. So take Titan, and I have based my lids with an eyeshadow primer. For those that missed it in science class, that is a moon of some planet. Science facts. I have to tell you that part of my review is that some of these colors don't mix together. I was attempting a look with Phone Home Gravity and Martian Soil. No, I could not get Martian Soil and Gravity to stop from muddying up on my lid. And especially going into Phone Home, it all just like looked the same. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna, let's just, no, I don't know. This it bugs me out. I have to be. I have to be very honest. Okay, I know what we're gonna do. We're going to take <laughs> X Files. I made up my mind. Go into the crease. I've done about twenty different looks with this palette. And I honestly, I've never struggled so much with art, artist block. Yeah, I truly do have artist block. One thing I never noticed before when you're holding this palette, it kind of feels like you're holding like an actual palette with paint on it. it kind of just kind of fits in your hand, which is pretty cool. It's ergonomic. Um maybe struggling to get, no, maybe it's just, maybe it is the base. I want to improve, that's the point of art, I guess. For me, therapy, but it would be therapeutic for me to be good at it. <laughs> so. Yes, after a few moments of building, blending, and buffing, <laughs> you do get a nice, smooth, not at all patchy result. And I have gone all the way into this little area right here, and I've darkened near the nose bridge as well. This creates a nice, open eye shape, at least on my eye. Next eye. Every one of these pigments is pretty rough to work with. It's actually very difficult. And I'm not sure if that's not, if that's why maybe I have been thinking about whether or not I would really be drawn to this palette. I just don't know. Um, it will, time will tell. I have dug into this palette a lot for fun. I, I want to say that like it, in a love-hate relation, relationship, sometimes it inspires me and sometimes it just makes me angry. I guess I have a, a relationship, a complicated relationship palette you could say. We're not Facebook official. So you wouldn't know that unless I told you. Alright, so let's just keep going. You know, I think this is a perfect opportunity to show everybody how Space Cowboy works and I'm going to. Alright, you're going to need this flat synthetic packing brush and you need to know that if you smudge, smear, or blend this color at all, it turns a grayish, bluish black. It's a metallic brown that blends into a bluish, grayish black. Something like this, but nothing attractive. Something like this. Um, so I'm going to pack the pigment, like utterly pack, like I'm actually going to dig up 
in the pan. Yeah, okay. And I'm spraying it with Mac Fix Plus, just a droplet. And I'm going to try my best just to like create a nice faux cut crease. So I'm sure I'll have this cropped, but you can see on this side that I don't have quite enough pigment and it's starting to look like gray black. It's like even. It's like even, she said. I'm gonna have to go like really nuts so with this to get it to really work for me. So to make this super grungy, I'm just taking X files and just kinda making my forehead look dirty. might look like I'm surviving the motherfucking apocalypse. And in some ways I am. In some ways I am. Yeah, I have like discoloration all the way up to the bottom, very bottom of my lash line. So I like to go extra ham with this white color. I'm gonna take Pro. Pro. Same brush. I've been using the same brush, except for the one that I used for the cut crease. I'm gonna go right here with Pro. Huh. Seems to have blended out a little bit darker than I expected. Like that. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere now, I believe. Obnoxiously artistic. Alright, bottom lash line. What am I gonna do on the bottom lash line? Definitely not something that's gonna stain my eyes for the next three days. Thank you, Area 51. But, I, oh, 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 I, I know. UFO, I'm gonna bling it up. And this is 301. Just received these brushes, oh my lord. I'm gonna pick up a lot of pigment. And then literally, this is what I'm doing. This one because I don't want anything I really 
really wanted to just buff it out. This is the Linda Halbera 303. I did my lower lash line in Urban Decay Perversion Black Liner. We have a uh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes on top of Long Comb Sills Booster XL. And then I have this lip from Fenty Beauty. It's called Unbutton. And I have the Pat McGrath Lip. Well, is this a yeah, it is considered a lip pencil and it's in super natural. You can all be amused as you watch me overline my lips. tone as my blush. I actually have this palette that I really like from here. It's called the Sculptor Kit. And I am <laughs> continuing to pan this right here. It's called Originator. Let's just buff this out with some powder. This is the Tanessa Myricks Evolution Powder in number one. And it has this amazing netting. I don't know who thought of the netting idea first. If it was Huda, good for you Huda. This is crazy guys. Look. I've never liked a powder on my face before. This is a brand you have to try if you've got the money in the bank. Okay? Alright. Okay. I have the Pat McGrath Labs Clear Vinyl Gloss. This is perfect. And it even has a little dirty mouthpiece. You can just start with the center of the lip. It'll work its way out. So, now it looks like we have gloss on the whole lip. We don't. You know, after all of the grief I've had with this palette, maybe some of it is worth um, it. I will say, everybody that's freaking out over Probe, that's the brown with the duochrome shift right here. I did go ahead and swatch it quite heavily on my arm here. Probe's not actually all that original. This is MAC Blue Brown. It's a pigment. Tiny bit. Boop. I just use a very small amount of pigment. This was my shit and like you could see the blue brown is so so sparkly and multi-dimensional and but I do want to do at least three looks and a thorough review. I'm going to do a tiny photo shoot. Okay, at the beginning of my hand there, you'll see my first Jeffree Star swatch followed by the first duplicate. And I go down my arm like that the same way, Jeffree Star, and then the duplicate from my stash, and so on.
books always start out innocently enough. Just a little color here, and then circus comes to town. Good God. What a travesty. Right, I'm not going to say that I absolutely hate this. I'm just going to put lip gloss on. Green is so on trend, it's almost like wearing a neutral right now. I love this stuff, it's so good. There it is. On to the next one. Welcome back everybody to one of the looks that I'm doing for Look at my skin you guys look I've been working on it so hard and I ooh this is a prelude to my next skincare review. I'm gonna be reviewing like four or five skincare brands and I'm gonna start with a very very popular cult favorite in the next uh let's call it six six to seven months. If you like Herbivore, Tata Harper, Moon Juice, or Sunday Riley, comment down below and tell me what your experience ha with them has and been. Let's jump into this look. I literally have no idea what I'm gonna do. But I think, ooh, girl, okay, a bitch is clumsy. Mac Painterly and Titan to base the lid. Titan is that white color in Alien. Same thing every time. I, I'm going to use the same base to start out with every single time. Okay? So let's just go around with the Titan. So, or, no. I don't know what to do right now. So. Okay. Yeah. Moon Rock. Center. Press it in the center of the lid. Moon rock is just like, it looks like a moon rock. I don't know, are these weed, sh are, is this like types of weed? Not to make fun of anybody, but I am. And I'm just like, yes, there are types of weed. You know. Don't, man. It's annoying. Okay, interstellar. Right here because we're blending this inner corner into the lightest color in the palette, which is Pluto at the end. In the outer corner, let's do UFO. Simple and shiny, simple and shiny. That's all that's really on my Christmas list. If it's shiny, My alien necklace. It's not Jeffree Star merch. You can see the link below if you want to know more about the necklace. I have more than one time selected a necklace from this designer. And Pluto goes in the inner corner as well. Let's see, Pluto is right here. I've used a shit out of Pluto as well, right here. Ooh, you can't tell because the lights are too bright. You can see how that has like a really pretty gradient, right? We're gonna go in with X Files on the outer edge. Yeah, we're gonna go in with something a little dark. Actually, let's do call it tall gray. This is actually pretty dark. This is tall gray right here. Tall gray. Pat and blend. Just to make this a little bit more interesting, a more precise brush, this is one of my favorites, the Alamar Synthetic Flat Brush. I'm going to take Ghost OG just on the very tip of the brush. You can see like I'm just dipping that in. Patting against the lower lash line. I really like the way that this palette fits in your hand like an actual artist's palette. 
I feel like I can just hold it while I'm working. Make sure when you're doing the under, the lash underneath, that you connect it to your work on the outer edge. This is the most precise little blending brush that I can find. So I'm going to take Probe, buff out the lower lash. Bring it in just a little. And I just fucked up my wing. And now I made a new wine house. Maybe I can fix this. It's less fucked. It's been so hard. I'm sorry that I'm being lazy. You know what? I'm gonna do this shit. I'm leaving them uneven. And I want to put on the gloss and call it a day. So, I have been working on this look. I have been working with the Alien palette for what feels like an eternity at this point. But I need to do quite a bit of work to clean this up. I was working on it and I thought it looked really cool. I'm going to try to fix it so that it looks a little cleaner. Yeah, I've been feeling a tiny bit better recently. Um, I've gone through literally a roller coaster of life experiences. And yeah, I just... I'm grateful to be alive, and um, let's get some makeup done. Okay, so to clean up this area, I'm going to go with, this is the 301 by Linda Halberia. <laughs> I still cannot say it in the Swedish, the proper Swedish accent. I apologize. So I'm dipping the 301 dry. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm not going to have it be dry. This is actually MAC Gold Fix Plus. And I'm going to just do a droplet. Even Actually, you can't really do a droplet on this. And with that... So now I am going to cut out the crease. I cut, used this to cut out this, and then it went overboard, so I'm going to cut it back. I'm going to use a different primer than I used to, to set this eye, which is, I used MAC Painterly on this eye, so I'm going to use something else to cut out these colors down here. They need more room, and I'm not happy with how they applied, so I need to take another kind of precision Precision-y brush. Alamar brush. Do these have numbers? These don't have numbers. It's flat synthetic brush. this with 
with Titan. into Space Cowboy because I need something with precision. Space Cowboy is so hard to work with, guys. Like, it swatches really nice, but it really is, like, a fucking pain. I think I've got, like, most of the shape back on this side that I wanted. Yeah. Okay. I'm going on to this little thing and hoping that I can get, <laughs> you can't get Space Cowboy out of this brush, watch. Oh wait, did that work? No, see, see there? And now I want phone home, right here. So I am like doing this, the littlest little buffs here over the marshy soil and also packing it very very closely to the cut crease and a little bit of blending there. You can see how Fawn Home looks kind of gray right now. I'm topped with a finger so you can see what it really looks like. That's what it really looks like. Alright, so let's get that space cowboy out of there again. It just looks weird. Like I didn't apply it enough. Oh, the battery. Fuck my life. What was I even doing? Oh yeah. UFO. Nope, not enough. Ooh, it fell off into the pan. Lots. Spritz. Dots. Yes. Okay, see what I'm talking about? And then light up the brow bone with your UFO. Unofficially fucked up outlook. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. I'm gonna stop picking myself apart, clean up Space Cowboy one more time. I am really struggling here. It's got Cleopatra vibes. A bit more Martian soil underneath here though. I really do like that, that shade. Something about it, right? Something about it really draws me in. It really turns me on. The way you make me feel really turns me on. Really. Anyway, I gotta say, it starts out a little bit rough, and then you just keep cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. It's like a house. It's a little bit rough in there, and you gotta go clean it up for a long time. I wanted to say I already put on this NYX liner and some Lancome Grandiose, but we'll go ahead and redo this because it was about an hour ago. Maybe <laughs> two hours. So long. Alright, I, I debate upon putting the falsies on. Falsies might, like, detract from my self-love. You know, we don't know. We don't know. Alright, look, I'm going to try and do this other eye. Ooh, girl, girl, girl. This lid has been based. Martian soil in the inner corner. So I'm gonna do the same. That's what I did. I did use that dry and you pack. I'm gonna do this. Damn, like, I really need to get it together. 
Alright. Same thing with phone home right next to it. And you just kind of blend them together. Almar brush to cut out that brown. take Space Cowboy. Thank you to anybody who's hung around on this. soil here and we did on the other side basically try and kind of blend those together this brush going home first came together a lot faster the second time and I am almost done. UFO like we just did on the other side. See how I buffed it up on this side? place where I put it the last time I saw I can't can't live like this I honestly I can't live like this you guys if you don't like taking time on your looks then just stick to one or two colors in this palette and that's it I know I'm not like the most talented person on YouTube doing my place here. I don't, I don't hate this. I don't hate this. And hey, do you guys see that there is 
no makeup, actually makeup on my skin except for a little bit of MAC Painterly under my eyes. My skin. from some angles, I'm not gonna lie. And if you look at Space Cowboy, which looks like a, like a metallic brown in the pan, look for yourselves. This muddies up so easily. There is some metallic on both sides, but it's, it doesn't stay metallic if you blend it at so my idea was to cut out an area where I could just pack Space Cowboy on and I'm telling you it, it was going really good on this eye at first but the wheels came off and we ended up with something a little just grungy. I'm gonna finish up my face. This is my finished look for this particular iteration of this look. I did give all of the instructions on this eye. I don't know if you think that they're even. They're pretty even looking to me. I really hope you enjoyed watching this look. Thank you so much for watching today. You and all of your support means so much to me. I hope that nobody took offense to my last upload. It was a joke. Nobody here is irrelevant. Everybody is special. Anyway, number one in my series YouTubers that make everybody else irrelevant is up right now. So if you want to check it out, click up there. Um, that's all I got for you right now. Thank you so much again. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully.